all right so welcome back and thanks for tuning in to another video so today's video is going to be a very basic video i'm going to show you guys what i like to fertilize my yard with um going into the summer months so i want to go over my the way the yard is looking how everything is turning out and the fertilizer that i like to use now this fertilizer that i'm using is going to help my yard become a lot more drought tolerant and it's going to help it fight off lawn funguses on its own by strengthening that uh grass blade plant so i'm going to show you guys what i'm dealing with how the yard is turning out and let you guys be the judge and um tell me if i'm doing a good job or not so let's go over the yard right now and i'm going to go over the lawn uh the lawn fertilizer that i like to use and then uh, we could wrap this video up so stay tuned so let's take a walk so as you guys can see let's take a walk in the yard so i can show you guys how the yard is turning out and for the most part, I think it's been turning out very, very nice since I did the dethatch in early spring and the overseed. As you guys can see, the yard is definitely filled in. It's uh, got a lot thicker, very thick, very lush. And I didn't really hit it with a high nitrogen fertilizer. If you remember, if you've been following me, I hit it with the ProCare uh, lawn fertilizer, something like a Melorganite clone. But I used that was because I did that overseed. I did not want to push a high nitrogen fertilizer on it too early. And actually I did use the starter fertilizer. That was early March. So besides that starter fertilizer, I didn't really use an actual um, high nitrogen fertilizer since that point. And that's when the grass was still like coming, cracking that, uh, that fall winter dormancy. So I haven't hit the yard with a high nitrogen fertilizer since it's been like this so it's been basically surviving off of just a little bit of uh, water that's been going on and that pro care whatever was left in there and that was almost what maybe two months ago almost i want to say or yeah give or take but now i'm going to hit it with a high nitrogen fertilizer zero phosphorus and uh, a, a few percentage of uh, potassium now going into these summer months and out of your main fertilizers you do not need uh phosphorus anymore if you look at a lot of the main fertilizers on the market they have high nitrogen or they'll have some type of nitrogen and then uh, po uh potassium so potassium is gonna help you help that plant grow uh basically a stronger resistance to lawn funguses and drought tolerant so basically that's why a lot of the fertilizers don't have that phosphorus anymore because you no longer need phosphorus so phosphorus helps you basically um with the root system but once your grass become established and it's like matured you want to make sure now you're building up a resistance on that grass blade itself so it can actually fight off diseases on its own um even though you you are going to have to put down some kind of prevention for lawn funguses um if you followed me you know i did mine earlier uh 30 days ago so i'm about due for another lawn fungus uh application soon but i like to stay on top of it i like to be in the preventative stage instead of fighting from behind it's never fun fighting from behind so but as you guys can see for the most part the yard is looking very very good got a little bit of debris from the trees here but you know that happens uh, my yard is not perfect i use my yard my dogs come out here they play run around so for the most part uh the yard is looking good for me to have you know have basically use the yard i don't know some people on here don't use their yard they you know they just it's just for show but my yard actually gets used we come back here sometime and um play around the dogs play around so but i want to go over just wanted to show you guys a yard overview i know you guys haven't seen it in a little while and uh, tell me guys what you think, how the yard is turning out. I think it actually looks good. The sun is down so you can actually see the true color of it. And uh, for the most part, you know, like I said, I'm weed free. I don't really have a lot of weeds. I know you guys, I showed you guys, I was fighting weeds in that back corner. That was because of uh, this tree here it was falling down and a lot of that stuff was uh, rooting into the soil as it rained, basically get washed in. So I fought off those weeds there. But for the most part, the yard is very lush. It's very thick on its own. And um, I want to just basically continue to build off of that. So 
I'm gonna show you guys the fertilizer that I like to use going into the summer months. So let's stay tuned and uh, let's go over it right now. It's in front of you here. It's the Scott's Turf Builder Lawn Food. This uh, fertilizer, like I said, I've been using for the last few seasons. It's a 3204 formula. And as you can see, the zero means zero phosphorus. At this point in the season, going into summertime, you do not need phosphorus at uh, this point. A lot of people like to use the Melorganite and all them other type of fertilizers, and that's fine. But you got to make sure you have enough potassium in your um in your lawn, and that potassium is going to help your overall plant, the grass plant itself, become more uh, like a lot stronger and fight off lawn funguses on its own. Plus, it's going to help um, it become more drought tolerant. So you want to look up. Uh, potassium and what it does for your lawn a lot of people don't really know what these numbers these three numbers mean um, the nitrogen is a high nitrogen is going to give you a lot more top growth is going to help it grow in and um, at this point like in the summertime you do not really want to push a lot of top growth um, in the summer because then it, you know your grass could become more uh, susceptible to, to diseases and stuff like that but at this point, a high nitrogen fertilizer is okay going into the summer because you're building your soil, you're building that plant up. Now, it's okay if you know what your plant uh, level is. Like if you know your soil test, that's why a soil test is very important at this point to know before you start putting down a bunch of uh, fertilizers, a bunch of chemicals, you already know what's in the actual soil itself. So a lot of that um, goes into the fact the overall grass plant health. So you want to make sure you know your levels. I know a soil test, a lot of people don't uh, do one. I do one at the beginning of the season or at the end of the season just to see where I'm at. And then I go from there. You don't really need to do one every single year, but I recommend at least knowing what's in your soil at some point um, if you're trying to have a, a healthy grass. And for the most part, once I got a soil test and knew what was in my grass, I knew what to put down and what to attack in my soil to help it overall get better. So, but for the most part, the uh, Scott's Lawn Food, a lot of people don't use Scott's. I like it. Um, like I said, it's been working for me. Just, it's a synthetic fertilizer. So make sure you are not um, over applying because if you over apply, it will burn your grass out. I made that mistake last year. Well, I didn't over apply it, but I, I was pouring the um, fertilizer on top of the lawn and um, a little bit spilled into the lawn. That's why I do not recommend pouring the fertilizer over your grass. Make sure you're like on some kind of platform or away from your grass. So you don't, you know, if you spill anything, you won't make any mistakes. But for the most part, it's a basic fertilizer and it has 2% iron in it. Now that iron is gonna give you a little, nice little pop of green, not too much, but it's gonna help the uh, lawn green up a little bit. But for the most part, 3204 is the formula. Uh, that means 32% nitrogen, zero phosphorus for uh, potassium. Uh, I got 15.1 urea nitrogen, um, other water soluble nitrogen, 1% water insoluble nitrogen. So it's got like a slow release formula and a fast release formula. That's why you do not want to pour too much or over apply it because that fast release formula is going to try to make the grass grow a little too fast and it's going to burn it out by uh because a lot of the synthetic fertilizer is it's based on like a saw so it's going to suck and dry out that that spot in that grass where you over apply to that and that's why it starts to burn out now sometime burn out you can fix it and sometime you can't so but like i said it's a basic fertilizer that you can pick up at any big box stores and they also have a bunch of clones like it so you do not have to spend um like the 40 or 25 bucks on this one you can get the clone and save yourself about five to ten dollars on um i know walmart has his own kind of clone of scott's the only thing is walmart brand the perels are very like a lot bigger than uh the scott's the scott's are real fine as i showed you guys it's very fine so it goes hand in hand with their spreaders and stuff like that so you do not have any issues just make sure you read your directions and make sure you're applying on the proper settings here if you're using like a, a broadcast spreader, three and a half is uh, like the perfect size. Um, if you're using like a drop spreader, uh, six and a half 
and if you're using the Scott's uh, Wiz spreader, three and three fourths. I got both, I got two of the three. I don't have a drop spreader, but I've been spreading this down. It's been working magic on my yard. It's been making it real nice, um, strengthening it up. Like I said, my animals play back here. They like it. Um, the Scott's, it doesn't say anything about harming animals. You know, on, on, on here, they got actual kids and uh, a dog running in the grass. So they're promoting that it's safe for the animals also. Just when you apply your product, make sure you give some lead way. Um, so I won't let my dogs come out here today or tomorrow. Uh, maybe like 48 hours, I'll let uh, the, basically the um, fertilizer settle in and then they're free to go back in the yard. Um, also using this Scott's, it says you can apply the Scott's on a, a wet lawn and a dry lawn. So that's new for, for Scott's. I've always known that uh, fertilizer is supposed to be applied on a dry lawn. But this lawn food said it can be applied to wet lawn and a dry lawn. So, and you do not have to water it in right away. Like most fertilizer state that you have to water it in as soon as you put it down. Scott said you don't have to water it in, but for fast results, you can lightly water it in. So, you know, that's why I like the Scott's brand. The Scott's brand has been um, elevating their products over the last few years and they got a product for every need. So um, if you guys are interested, stay tuned for the results. I'm going to show you guys how everything turned out. Basically, this is what I wanted to show you guys how to strengthen your yard. And so you guys can take care and uh, stay tuned for the results.